your abyss awaits. This world is just too small. Hmm? Hey, did you come from the outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here, and I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh, my friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. But it won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place. I heard once there was a kid who left for good. That was more difficult than I thought. But at least things are on track. Lord Zemnis is nowhere to be seen, so that means the party's already begun, huh? Yes. Man, does that Xehanort scare me like nobody's business. The way he can see in the mines. And it doesn't help that no one knows what it is that the old man wants. I wonder if even you know what's going on inside your own head. I will be led wherever it is I am destined to go. Sounds to me like you don't have a clue of your own. Every Keyblade Master is bequeathed a Keyblade of his very own. With the passing of time, as you can imagine, more and more Keyblades were forged to be handed down. But of all the Keyblades in existence, Master Xehanort's is the most ancient. That is my destiny. But it has yet to become a reality. Hey, it's okay. This is all connected to the ancient Keyblade War, isn't that right? Whatever. I got my hands full with my own plans. So, which poor soul will it be? I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? Oh, no way! Hey, that wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Don't, Neku! They're too dangerous! What? Why am I so... Where is he? Huh? Huh? They're both gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. 
I guess I should just take a look around. Oh. Hey, Neku, it's you. Sora. What? You actually still trust me? Of course I do. But you know that I tricked you, right? That guy in the black coat? He said he could send me home. Me and my partner. But I had to bring you to him first. Sorry. No big deal. When it really mattered, you stood up for me. And besides, we're friends, right? Friends. <laughs> oh, hey, Neku. This here is Rhyme. Is she your game partner? No. Sorry. I'm teamed up with somebody else. Huh? What? Rhyme! Neku! <laughs> huh? Hey, wait! <laughs> Out of my way! Sora. Huh? Joshua. Hello, Neku. How long the days without you have felt. Rhyme! I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Neku, do you know this guy? Yeah. Joshua. He's my friend. Okay. Are you the one who took Rhyme away? And why do you know my name? If you'd like to settle down for a sec, I'll field your questions one at a time. Let's start with Rhyme. I'm hanging on to her dreams for her. They're my portal. Huh? Let's just say her dreams are a gateway between worlds. Oh. <laughs> Next question. How could I possibly know your name, right? This town has a little secret. It only appears when someone out there has need of shelter. I'll spare you the details, but right now it's made up of my dreams. So of course I know you. I dreamed you up. I know your best friend Riku, too. Really? You know Riku? Well, yeah. I'm kind of omniscient. Then where is he? He's right inside this projection. In another imagining of this world. You mean... another Traverse Town? Can I get there with your portal thing? Sad to say, it won't work for you. My portal thing only opens for the one with Rhyme's dreams. In this projection, you're seeing another chain of events, in another world trapped by the Dream Eaters. As for how the world got split in two, I have a feeling you'll need to ask this guy. Him again! Huh? Who's that? Beat. Shiki. Riku. Over there! 
What? Hey! We should stick together. <coughs> Perfect. You can't expect me to... Chicky. <gasps> no way. How did you get here? Who are you? Uh. By choice or chance, you cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison to wander forever. What do you mean? Riku! Uh. Don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine. She told me what's up. Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a reaper. All right. Who are you? Sorry, Riku. Uh. It's all right. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo. All that time, Quasimodo let himself be trapped inside the nightmares Furlo gave him. Hypocrite. You are the one who has made your heart a prison. You again? What are you talking about? Even if you are not the prisoner. Huh? Prison? <laughs> yes, let it burn. The flames will consume everything. You see? This is the power that has been granted to me. I see a sad old man with a dark heart. Again, you are wrong. Now you will be judged, just like the rest! Judgment is You're Ansem! Why are you here? Your best friend is never far. So sad. The cost of yielding to the darkness. You could write a book about that. But I embrace the darkness. And unless you hurry <laughs> up and learn to do the same, your story will end just like his. I walk the road to dawn. Still afraid of the dark, I see. Hmm. Wait! <laughs> he thinks I'm afraid of the dark? No. Not while I have the Keyblade. It will guide me to the light! You again? 
Xemnas? This is impossible! My, my. A hollow puppet that's managed to grow a heart. Just imagine that. Pinocchio isn't anything like you nobodies. But if Pinocchio could be given one, shouldn't you be able to have a heart inside you too? <laughs> Maybe so. However, do not forget that you yourself are not so very different from us. How am I anything like a nobody? That doesn't make any sense. You sure we'll find Tron's source code here? <laughs> it's not here. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. All right. Wait, Cora. Let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart to heart might jog his memory. He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. That's not true. The Tron I remember, he had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on. Remember, Tron! I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs time, that's all. Quora! Tron, don't! <laughs> Tron, why? That's what we do. Put the most precious <sighs> memories in the back of our minds where they're safe. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! The memory and heart are tightly linked. Oh, Xemnas! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion, a feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information, but there is still no heart with which to parse it. Once, my master, Ansem, found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Memory can be changed and easily manipulated. Tron is a digital entity, so why would he be any different? He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, what about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bites that have made up your life so far. Can you say for sure they are not just copies of someone else's? Yes! My memories and feelings belong to me! You had better check. Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen, Chosen for what? You think this is the realm of dreams, but there you are mistaken. Data does not dream. 
cannot dream. <laughs> this world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are. That you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean? So easily you sink into the depths of slumber. Huh? Why are you here? <laughs> Beautiful world, isn't it? Almost like a dream. Why are you following me around? You really haven't caught on? Or are you just assuming it's all part of your little test? I'm not part of the dream. And if you thought I was, then you're softer than they say. What? But this will all be over soon. Just who are you people? Sleep on and we will meet again. Hey! What does that mean? You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade. Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade. Passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. Once again, you performed predictably, although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it, but you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits. Isn't this? Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So, I've got to be awake again, and in the real world. But why here? Aw, oh, what's the <sighs> matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off.
<laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place. I jacked your little slumber party before it started. And ever since, we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Uh, the man in the robe. And so that guy in the black coat. And Xemnas. Oh. Bingo. You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Rogue Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's this you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. Pleasant dreams, kiddo. Yes, this was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends call Ansem. Whoa! Is that...? Yes. The point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me. Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way, and then placed himself here when the time was right. That is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Ansem possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. <sighs> Kyrie! <sighs> hmm. 
You've been here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again, like deja vu. King Mickey? Oh. Donald! Goofy! Just make it too easy. I know you think you've won, but you lost the moment you dived this far in. You're in the deepest pit of slumber, and you've worn yourself down to nothing. There's no returning to the world above. What do you mean? We told you. It was not the sleeping keyholes that guided you. They are not the reason you are here. You've been on a path, one we laid out for you. That sigil on your chest is the proof. What? See, that sigil, the X, it tells us where you are at all times. You had wondered aloud before why we kept showing up where you were. It's because we need you, Sora. Or, to be more precise, we need what will be left of you. The Thirteenth Dark Vessel. Why... I... Why was it assured you would come here today? Because I followed my destined path, and I'm here looking at you right now. You can move through time, but time itself is immovable. Today, all of my selves throughout time were meant to gather here. And to welcome you, Sora, as our 13th member. These facts cannot be changed. What's gonna... I have now told you all that I know. We are all here, and what the future holds in store is beyond my sight. I will return to my own time, and grow into the man who becomes all these others. While I know this future now that I have lived it, returning to my own time will erase the memories and experiences I have gained here. Still, my appointed path is now etched in my heart, which will first lead me to seek the outside world. Riku. Your heart will sleep forever in the folds of darkness, and your body will be another vessel for me. So light gives way to darkness, Good night, Sora. Huh? Sora! Hey, 
Hands off my new vessel. <sighs> vessel? Yes. We originally had our sights set on you. But... You developed a certain resistance to darkness. So we did what the Keyblade did, and moved down the list. <sighs> Roxas. Now there was a worthy candidate. But, unfortunately, he became too aware of himself, and returned to Sora. Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Thanks to you and Sora, we learned not all our candidates were fit for the task, but we managed to make up the difference. And now, Sora, the thirteenth vessel, is within our grasp. Thirteen? Xehanorts? <gasps> what is... The real Organization 13. The Organization? I am Xehanort from the most distant past. My future self gave me a task. To visit the splintered versions of myself in many worlds and ensure they gathered here today. From the past? There are restrictions to movement through time. First, you must leave your body behind to do it. Then, there must be a version of you waiting at the destination. Upon arrival, you can only move forward as per the laws of time. And you cannot rewrite the events that are destined to happen. What have you done? My most future self will arrive soon. Then, time for all of us will return to normal. And I will go back to my era to live the life fate has in store. He can vouch for that. I'm glad I'm not too late. Mickey! Just grab Sora so we can go. I can't stop them for long. Okay. <laughs> Mickey! <gasps> I said hands off! How can you be moving? Oh, oh no. Are you? Be gone. Are you okay, Riku? Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. Xehanort! Huh? We were right about you! <clears throat> All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, when I would return a complete person. It is the future which lies beyond my sight. Why are you doing this? In ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade into twenty pieces. Seven of light, and thirteen of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness. 
never to surface again. I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade, but the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then? Your mistakes? Change the destinies of three of my friends! Ah, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places. The broken boy who failed to be the blade. The misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend. And the feckless youth who became my new vessel. I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it, as soon as Maleficent started gathering the Seven Princesses of Heart. Yes. They were all my doing. I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared thirteen vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The Seven Guardians of Light and the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. Seven Guardians of Light? Well, for Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora. And my three missing friends, that six. Then the seventh would be... Huh, that means... The Thirteen Seekers of Darkness? Yes, little king. Perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! Keyblade. First, the Thirteen Darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now, the last vessel shall bear my heart like the rest. Uh, no! Sora! The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing? You had your perfect little script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happens. <sighs> what now, you old coot? Our time is up! Uh, 
Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... <sighs> Whatever. Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Supposed to do that? I think so. <laughs> Goofy, Donald, you saved us. We are out of time. Neither the union of light nor darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But the gathering of the seven and thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place, once your lights and my darknesses have joined together! This world is just too small. Have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Huh? Of course I have. Long ago, Keyblade wielders waged a war over the ownership of light. Yeah, the Master's favorite story. I wonder what they planned on doing with Kingdom Hearts after... making it appear. Who knows? I don't get why anyone would initiate a war. So... You know the Lost Masters? Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Where'd you hear about that? Or... They're the ones for whom... The war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Facade? On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. A prospective Keyblade Master should know this. If you say so. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. The future. It's already been written. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? And maybe light will prevail. <laughs> Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps, but unlike darkness, there is more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Oh, I hope so. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, why doesn't that toy move? I guess it hasn't figured it out. Figured what out? I can make it move for you. Uh -huh. Huh? You're from the dream! The first of the Xehanorts! I'm so honored you remember me. Oh no! He can move! Way cool! Look out! Wow. One heart's shadows fill the emptiness of another. See how they bring him to life? Like heartless and nobodies, they fit together. Enough! Why are you doing this? There's a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide us with a clue. So we made a copy of the world, and then pulled those hearts apart. I wonder how you'll handle the strain. Wait! What does that mean? Don't let me down. What is going on? Is this boy a friend or foe? I think we've got our answer. <laughs> yeah! If the Heartless know how to do it, there's no reason you can't. Do what? Huh? Brilliant! I'm on it! never looked this good. The clothes kind of match. Huh? Hmm? What do you know? They are video game figures. See? I told you, Buzz. They're toys. Just like the rest of us. <gasps> well, I suppose. Donald, I thought your magic decided how I look. Explain. <laughs> Say, Riku would make a great action figure. <laughs> no, it's me. I've got the black clothes and, uh... So what? All right, everyone. Now that we're back together, it's time to return to Andy's room. Now? But can't I at least check the strategy guides? I want to know how to beat Bahamut! <sighs> Next time. Oh. Right now we need to go home. Hmm. Oh, but you needn't rush off. Uh -huh. Xehanort! I have more to observe. I can't let you leave yet. It's us that you really want. Leave the others out of this. <laughs> you would say that, Champion of Light. Very well. Let's skip to the final stage. Buzz? What's the matter? <gasps> Come on, Buzz. Quit fooling around. Yeah. I can't believe it. Buzz has been taken over? <laughs> what did you do to him? I thought I made it clear. I am testing the strength of their bonds. 
In this world, toys have hearts. And those hearts come from a powerful bond. So what happens when those bonds are stretched to their limit? When they are worlds apart, can cloth and plastic hold on to their hearts? All I needed was a wedge to widen the divide. Someone like you to fill them with distrust and doubt. And that chasm you created can be filled with a vast darkness. Witness it for yourself. On my way! Not this time. Where am I? Haven't you heard? In this world, you come from a video game. So now you can watch my experiment from inside that screen. That is, if you manage to find a moment's rest. There's got to be a way out. Buzz, Woody, hang on. It looked like this? Yep. Here goes. Buzz! Xehanort! What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... we'll all be like Buzz? If we don't find Andy? Wrong! Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. <clears throat> you can't rip that apart! Huh. Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah, I am a toy, and a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature. To never, ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah. You can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. Partner, we gotta get this wagon train a moving. <sighs> Woody, wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a.
Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. Hey, hurry up! Huh? We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> so, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. Because you are hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the hearts joined to yours. Huh? Oh. There! Careful! Whoa! Here goes! It's time. The Keyblade Graveyard is up ahead. <sighs> Someone's coming. Legend has it that darkness once covered the world. We know so little about the Keyblade War, only that it was just the beginning. If ruin brings about creation, what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? Or will all of creation be instead returned to the shadows? Today we will recreate the legend and see. <sighs> but first, your light shines far too brightly. It must be extinguished in order for the truth to be seen. Only when your hopes have been broken by battle upon battle can the key be claimed to Kingdom Hearts. And break you is what we shall do. It has been etched. How many there are! Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, gang, get ready! Checkmate. And so darkness prevails, and light expires. You need a new strategy. My move, isn't it? Uh, huh? It's not over. Come on! That's not fair. I know I had you. Yes, you nearly did. But a game's no fun if you know where it's going. There's more to light than meets the eye. I told you. Uh. 
Hmm. Some light comes from the past. Well, Sora, I'd say we've been to every world that we can visit. But we're one short. Where's Kairi's heart? Gee, I wish I knew. You! Hmm? All that gallivanting through the sleeping worlds, and yet you learned nothing. What? Dream by dream. You nearly buried yourself in the dark of sleep, and now you're at it again. <sighs> the lich you've been fighting, it's not <laughs> like other heartless. <laughs> It exists to usher hearts down to the depths of darkness. If you chase it, you will condemn your heart to that same abyss. You're wrong. My heart is strong. What do you think the power of waking is? It's for traversing hearts to reach worlds. Not for traversing worlds to reach hearts. There's a high price to pay for wielding such power foolishly. So what? You're worried about me now? No. There's no saving you. Huh. You've paid the price, and it lies at the bottom of the abyss. Uh, wait! Oh. oh. Hurry, Sora! The way to the Keyblade Graveyard is open! Chipper and I found a new path! Ha <laughs> ha! Of course! That's the one place we haven't checked yet! Off we go! Today, we join these other wielders and leave our mark on fate. I have waited patiently, but together, we shall unlock the Keyblade War's secrets. Hmm? Now, we forge it, the ultimate key. The key blade.
Here we go. <laughs> Riku, your majesty! Uh huh? Sora! About time. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Where's Kyrie? Wait, huh? is she in trouble? <sighs> yeah, Xemnas took her. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Settle down, boy. It's Sora. The thirteen darknesses and seven lights have clashed nine times, yielding these nine keys. Keys? We are four short, but those four keys will be produced here and now. Yeah, sure. And what makes you think there'd ever be any way we'd help you with that? Huh. You forget I plan for every eventuality. Kyrie. If you do summon Kingdom Hearts, we will defeat you. And we will close it again. Perhaps. That is, if you survive that long. <laughs> What's so funny? I told you. There's a high price to pay for all of this. And what price would that be? I'll go back to my time and live out my life. But Sora, you're done now. Your journey ends here. What? Goodbye, Sora. Your time in this world is... Oh. Hmm. I told you that you might be surprised. Yeah, you got me. Huh? Really? What? It's just, you never admit it when you lose. That's because I never lose. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> 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 Good game today. <laughs> I try. Maybe I won't go as far as you. Huh? When the world needs a defender, they'll pick you, Ericus. Huh? Y you think? But that doesn't mean that I can't be there for you. Yeah, and I'll be there for you. Very well done.
Terra. Aqua. Then. Forgive your foolish teacher. Master! Master! Master. Then, I put you through such a harrowing experience. And Aqua, I left you with such a heavy burden. Terra, look after them for me. Please. Here. Ready, my friend? Yes. pieces and just watch So? Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya. And so, how'd it go? The tour. I learned. The reason for my existence. Oh! Tell me more. All around the world, people live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. Sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but you got a little bit more than you anticipated. You must have seen a lot of darkness. Those who are weak, and who desire greater power, simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? No. 
it's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep pretending to be wolves. Though I admit, I can understand why. Oh, I've never heard that one before. A Keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Because left alone, the world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult. More so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do. But I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So, you can make a change. You have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. <sighs> it's funny. Somehow, I can sense where I'm supposed to go. And what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Even this coat. There's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Hmm. No. You'll ditch it soon. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Who are you, really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist, or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. My name is... I'm a lost master. Lost... master? May your heart be your guiding key. Riku! Your Majesty! Uh -huh. Sora! About time. Sorry. Xemnas! <laughs> Where's Kyrie? Wait, huh? is she in trouble? Yeah, Xemnas took her. <laughs> Settle down, boy. It's Sora! The thirty darknesses and seven lights have clashed nine times, yielding these nine keys. Keys? 
We are four short. But those four keys will be produced here and now. Yeah, sure. And what makes you think there'd ever be any way we'd help you with that? <laughs> you forget I plan for every eventuality. Kyrie. If you do summon Kingdom Hearts, we will defeat you. And we will close it again. Perhaps... that is... if you survive that long. <laughs> What's so funny? I told you. There's a high price to pay for all of this. And what price would that be? I'll go back to my time and live out my life. But Sora, you're done now. Your journey ends here. What? Goodbye, Sora. Your time in this world is... Go on.